Hey everybody, welcome back to Dirty Garage Mods. I am Daniel and today I am going to be replacing my rear shocks on my car. It is not going to take very long. It's about probably a 20 minute job at most so uh, hang tight and I'll take you through a few steps. So step one, remove your wheel. I already loosened the lug nuts, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop them off. Ow. Don't hit your fingers. Step one, take your wheel off, lay it off to the side. All right, now, two, you want to remove these bolts here. Um, if I remember right, and I did, they are 13 millimeter. So, So, we'll get in there a little bit closer. set your nuts off to the side where they won't get lost. Once you get your nuts loose, uh, you, the next step will be taking the nut loose on the bottom, which you won't be able to see, but I'll still try to record it. So uh, I'll be right back. Step three, you're not gonna be able to see this real well, but I'll still kind of show you. I'm gonna take your air impact or cordless impact, whatever you have, and a 21 millimeter socket. your shot closed that easy what you want to do is you gotta get your shock to come loose from above you just kind of pull on it real hard and it'll pop right out of there so I will take you over to the workbench and show you the next prop step so hang tight I'll be right back but what you want to do is you want to take your shock your old one which is frozen solid and uh, put it in vice and then try to break this top nut loose because you got to have you got to have that rubber piece up here to uh, put back on the 
car or the mount, not the rubber piece. Okay, so this is going to require a little bit of finesse, so uh, I'll be back here in a moment. Okay, so what you want to do next, I got the old shock off, and it's it's really stiff. I mean, they're, they're stiff anyhow, but uh, I got it off, so um, that is a Duralast shock, and shocking how quick it went bad. So... What you want to do is you want to take your brand new Detroit Axle Shock, which you can save 10% by going to DetroitAxle.com, making your account, ordering your parts, and uh, in the, it'll have a spot for a coupon code. You can type in Daniel10 right there, lowercase, uppercase, doesn't matter, and uh, save yourself 10%. So, anyways, so what you want to do is take your parts, get them out of the bag, so you want to take your, your uh, cup, washer, whatever this is called, Put it on there like so. You're going to take your uh, rubber mounting piece. You're going to slide it on there like so. Then you're going to take your other cup and put it on top. That's what secures it. Then you're going to take your locking, locking nut, your locking nut washer, and put it on there as well. So that way you're good to go. And you just take this little sucker right here. And I'll be back because now I need a new socket size. Okay, you're going to take your 16 millimeter socket. You're going to put it on there like so. And hold that shock still. Okay, it's still turning through. So, Add up just a little bit. You don't want to over tighten it because you're going to crush the shock if you over tighten it. Alright, so there you are. You got your shock back together. And you're going to take that and you're going to reverse everything you did. Put taking off the old shock, you're going to reverse it and put it on put it back on so uh, we'll cut back over there here in just a moment so what you're going to do now is you're going to take the shock and you're going to run it up underneath your control arms and you're just going to take it put it up there like so and let me go get my ratchet Put my ratchet over there you're just going to go ahead and snug your just kind of loose fit your nuts back on there to hold it in place all right all right so I'm just gonna get in there with this
right. So there you go. That's how you do that. Now, you won't be able to see this, but I'm going to show you this part. Uh, when you're attaching your rear shock back, it has this flat washer thing that goes up against it. You want to make sure that is there. It definitely needs it. So you want to take your shock. You're going to have to get forceful with it to push it up into place. It's got a lot of tension on it. So but you can do this by hand. So you want to put that back in there. Then you want to take your 21 millimeter and your air impact. And zap it back on. And there you go. That is how you put your shock on the back of a G6 and probably most any front wheel drive vehicle, this is how they are. So uh, I know this is same for G6, Malibu, uh, um, G5, I think, uh, um, possibly, oh, Saturn, that would be the other one. So yeah, so that is it. Uh, if you like what you see, uh, smash that thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my subscribe to my channel and Detroit Axles channel as well. Uh, comments are always great to see, so uh, hit that comment section down there. And uh, also, uh, if I can get Detroit Axle to use my link, I will uh, provide a link of my shirts that I have coming out. I have uh, t-shirts and hoodies right now. Uh, it says Dirty Garage Mods, got the Pontiac emblem on it, the old school and new school style, I think is on there and it says something else I can't remember offhand but I'll put a picture right here so you guys can see it so uh but anyways yeah uh thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one have a good day